we represented Andy uh, uh, in records and that, and Dick Link was his manager. And we thought, our guys in New York, in the, area, uh, uh, the agency was still headed in New York, that he would be a great talent for a half hour come. And uh, who's it? It was Fritzell. I'm trying. To, I can't remember the writers. I, I could have looked it up, but on the Danny Thomas show, who came up with the concept of Andy playing a small town sheriff. So the episode of the Danny Thomas show was Danny drives through Mayberry and gets arrested and won't pay the $2 fine. And Andy is the sheriff, he's also the magistrate, and it was really a darling segment. And Frances Bavier was in, was not Aunt B. She played a widow woman who was paying a, a, a clothing store 50 cents a week on the tuxedo her husband was buried in. So, I mean, that was that, and it, we did it uh, uh, as an episode, and say, and Benton and Bowles was the spot, was the advertising agency. So they bought the Andy Griffith Show. And of course, and Aaron Rubin worked on it, and it was, it's just never been off the air. And then we did, he, we had, and Carl Ryder did a, a show called Head of the Family, in which he played a writer on a uh, variety show in New York, headed up by a nervous comic. And of course, Carl came off show of shows with Sid Caesar. So Peter Lawford financed it. And it was Carl, Barbara Britton, and the little kid with the bass voice. Well, it was wrong. Carl, Carl couldn't play himself. He was wrong playing himself. So we got Daddy to finance a new pilot. Sal Leon had seen Dick Van Dyke in Bye Bye Birdie and felt that Dick, who was represented by MCA at the time, <clears throat> would be an ideal person to play this role. So he got Sheldon to come to New York and who saw Dick and Sheldon said, that's the guy. And then when it came to casting Mary Tyler Moore, she had auditioned for the Danny Thomas show to play Danny's daughter. But they went with whatever her name was. So uh, I think it was Sheldon said, how about that gal who auditioned for, for your show? And Daddy says, that's a great idea. Now Mary Tyler Moore had been on the Jimmy Durante show as a dancer. She was also the legs of the Richard Diamond show, which was done at Forest Day. So anyway, she came in and that was it. And then they hired Rose Marie. And they wanted one more comic. So Rose Marie says, what about Maury Amsterdam? He's never without a line. So that it, that's where it went. And it was a great show. I used to go down once a week. A lot of times I went to the taping. But just to have lunch, to sit there, and between Maury and Rose Marie, and that with the one-liners, it, it was hysterical. It was one of the best times I've ever had in my life.